guys, we're back. I'm Alona. I'm Sana. And today we wanted to talk to you about medication. So there's your doctor that prescribes them and your pharmacist that fills them, but it's still really important to make sure you know as much as you can about them, how to take them, when to take them, and the proper safety that your medications require. So we just thought we would share some tips with you uh, to make sure that you're a-okay. All right, we're gonna start off with keeping your morning and your nighttime meds separate. Whether that's just a separate shelf or a separate part of the counter, um, or I mean, definitely within your pill box if you're using a pill box, but even the bottles you use to fill them, keep them separate and keep it labeled. Um, the last thing you wanna do is take a, your, for your parents to take a nighttime medicine in the morning. That can really, really screw them up. Yeah. Um, make sure that they have a list of all their medications, one for them, one for you or other family mem members, uh, one for the doctor, one for the pharmacist, and one for emergencies. And that may sound excessive, but it's really not because in an emergency situation, the last thing you can remember is what medicine you or your parents are taking. So having that list ready could be life-saving. Um, and then within that list, you wanna make sure that you include the name of the medicine, the reason they take it, the dosage, the instructions, and the doctor's name that prescribed it. This is all really, really important. Um, also ask that your doctor and your pharmacist outline any questions that you may have or your parents may have about their medicine and things that could affect it. Uh, definitely, you know, mixing certain medicines they will go over, but even herbal supplements. Some supplements can affect certain medicines, some food can affect certain medicines. Obviously, they'll probably talk to them about mixing alcohol and <laughs> things like that. But um, do your research because uh, having something go wrong with their medicine can send them into a tailspin and next thing you know they're in the hospital nobody knows what's going on and they were mixing something that shouldn't have been mixed um and make sure you know those signs so a sign of this medicine not mixing well with another medicine is forgetfulness and then right away you can go oh, maybe something's wrong with their medicine um and definitely if if you can help it um, try to have them only use one pharmacist because things can get kind of confusing if you have two different pharmacies, two different pharmacists. Uh, if, you, if they, for whatever reason, have to have two different pharmacies, make sure both have that list so that they're not giving suggestions that are fatal <laughs> compared to the information that the other pharmacy has. And lastly, um, I know most people do anyway, but we really suggest using the daily pill box. Um, whether it's, whether some are simple and just the every day and some they have AM, afternoon, PM, midday, they come in all shapes and sizes. It really helps. Yeah, it helps with organization, but it's really going to help you and your parent, grandparent, uh, monitor if they're missing any meds because it's we've all done it we take the pill and then we go did I take it <laughs> we don't want to be elderly to have that moment but having that pill box can really help them or it help probably more help you if you stop by see oh mom hasn't taken her pill since Tuesday and it's Saturday and then that's a conversation you guys can have instead of it going under the radar so those are just a few tips about medication safety and um, if you have any other questions, feel free to email us, Facebook us, and we'll see you next time. Great. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.